the case of a 17-year-old with abdominal pain and a positive serum ELISA test for H. pylori infection is presented. So Dr. Heyman, I've just seen Peter and his mom. Um, he was referred here from his family practitioner um, for some history of epigastric pain. Okay. It seems like he's had it about three times a week. Um, it's sort of right in the middle of his belly. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have any symptoms of reflux that I can really um, ascertain. Okay, um, it does sound like it gets better when he eats um, maybe a little bit of food, mm -hmm. some like bland things like mm -hmm. saltines, mm -hmm. and also when he takes Tums or other antacids. Um, so basically what his um, family practitioner did was d did this um, H. pylori test uh, serum Eliza, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and he wanted us to see sort of what we should do for management from this point out. Sure. Um, so this is a really common thing that comes up with children yep. in H. pylori and abdominal pain and ulcers. There actually was a fairly recent paper um, in the archives. If you want to try to look that up and we can talk about it. Okay. okay. Great. I'll go Great. check it out on the computer. Dr. Heyman has an evidence-based medicine question in mind about the H. pylori serum Eliza test that Peter had. She has asked Dr. Craig to find the paper that may answer her question.